Hi folks and welcome to another niche audio video. Uh, this one's not actually about one of our products. Uh, it's about, again, another one on the Electron Analog 4. But specifically how well the Analog 4, with its built-in kind of cool sync feature activated here, um, how well the hardware syncs to the, the DAW, basically, and how well it does this in real time. So, right, what I have on here, I've got a little loop programmed into the Analog 4, and that's the bass drum from it. And also over here, I've got some drums programmed using machine uh, from our shadow house pack and I just took one of the the presets there changed a few things around and what we have channels not on yet right so basically what's going on here we've got the analog for running live and by the way what I've got programmed in that is that kick drum a little hi-hat there's a bass line and a chord, a little chord loop. But just now only the bass drum's playing because we want to see how well, you know, if there's any latency, um, if there's any delay between what's playing from the Analog 4 live and a VST. So let's try that. Now that sounds pretty good to me. Remember, that's the Analog 4, a kick drum from the Analog 4, playing live with a VST. Okay, let's bring in that little hi-hat pattern with a chord from the Analog 4. In those drums again. I kind of feel that this is a little bit late, the drums programmed in machine, but that could just be the swing on the pattern. I'm going to take that back a little bit using Ableton's little built in delay feature. I mean, practically nothing. That's 13 samples, not point. 29 of a millisecond. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Right, I'm going to bring in a bass line now from the Analog 4 again. So, that's just the Analog 4 playing now. Uh, basically, so far, the, the sync is totally impressive. Absolutely. I, I've never had anything close to that from sending MIDI clock. Right, I'm going to bring in some chords now. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to record the, that four parts from the Analog 4 into their own tracks. I 
as you can see, the kick drums are a little bit early. And this has nothing to do with the clock, this is a, something to do with Ableton. I've, to be honest, I've always had issues with Ableton, always having to faff around to move things in time. Now, before I started this test, I was inside Ableton's preferences and messing around uh, here and, you know, driver error compensation and all that. And really, none of it was making any difference. Um, so what I would do here, I know that I would need, I would just edit that, but I'm not going to do that just now because this is not a video about editing. But the, the really important thing here is that isn't a problem at all. Um, because it's consistent as well. It's not like there's no MIDI jitter, no obvious MIDI jitter going on, you know? Because all of these are pretty much consistently, and if I put this really under the microscope, I'll bet you the deviation would be like a couple of samples, if that. So the clock is bang on. There's no problem there at all. It's excellent. And really, what this test was about anyway, was about how using the analog four, in real time with, with you playing like live stuff over the top. And as you can tell, that's fine. And I can play stuff if I go to the analog four. There's like no latency there at all. It's not like 100%, I, I, I detect a tiny, tiny little bit, but not a problem to play stuff in. Aside from the kick drum, well it's not the kick drum, they're, they're all going to be doing that. Everything being a little bit early, but that's a really easy edit, but not so much in the session view, in the linear view. But like even easier in programs like Pro Tools, Cubase, what have you. actually makes sense because my ears told me earlier on when I was here that I felt this was a little bit late. So this is coming in a little bit early. Now I don't know if that's something to do with the Electron A4 itself or something to do with Ableton Live. I would actually have to do some more testing and try it in other DAWs as well. But at the end of the day it's incredibly good as it is right now. Nothing at all. So, yeah, so the Electron Analog 4's ability to sync, I'd say it's the best I've ever come across with any hardware unit without the use of any other external boxes such as the Interclock Sync Gen which is an excellent box. And like I say, I think the principle is the same. I think the software, the Analog 4 software, the VST side of it, is taking its clock information from the host DAW audio clock. 
and sending that as some sort of code, probably just MIDI code, MIDI time code, MIDI clock. I think, I mean, I'm just speculating here, but that's what I think is going on. So 10 out of 10 for that, brilliant. And that's Tech House. I just thought I'd mention this. That little loop there. Well, genre within the house thing because tech house allows you to get a little bit techy. You can go deep with a little bit of techy, you know, things like that. Anyway, good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>